Now, I know what they're after. You do? Where's Julie? Where, where's Julie? This is my fire extinguisher. I invented it myself using an oxygen tank, some compressed air, and an ordinary garden hose. Where is she? Where? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Stacy, have you seen Julie? I think she's over there. Captain, thank you for coming. OK, throw me in. I know what they've been after. Look. The moon rock. It's the most valuable rock in the world. It's more valuable than any diamond. A rock half this size was sold in Japan for $2 million. OK. Well, I knew that I had seen that rock before. Somewhere, it was in Julie Teeger's aquarium. It was right in front of us the whole time. Here's what happened. There's a tour guide at the museum named Peck, Lyle Peck. Last weekend, he stole the moon rock. It was probably Sunday night after they closed. He waited until the guards were distracted or between shifts. Peck has worked there for years. He's practically a fixture, so he definitely knew their routine. Why didn't the museum report it? The museum never missed it. They didn't know it was stolen. They still don't. Peck replaced it with an exact duplicate. Wait, you mean this is just a regular rock? Son of a bitch, I stood in line for half an hour just to touch this stupid thing. Right, but Peck had a problem. He still had to get the moon rock out of the building. But they were searching everybody, even the employees. So since there was no way for him to get it through security, he had to improvise. He hid the rock in the gift shop inside one of those aquarium kits. Then he marked the box. He probably planned to have his accomplice, Brian Lemon, pick it up the next morning. But the girl got there first. Exactly. Julie Teeker bought it that morning and took it home. The next day, Peck tried to steal it, posing as a meter reader. When that didn't work, Brian Lemon broke in. But he didn't count on Natalie waking up or that pair of scissors. <laughs> Why? You're back. Okay, here Natalie. We go. This is Mr. Henry. You gotta grab that rock. Mr. Henry is a marble fish. And most marble fish only live for about a year. But Mr. Henry is six years old and he's still as frisky as ever. And that is thanks to my special diet of ground up vitamins, rice krispies, and cucumbers.